Hey everybody! So this video is really exciting because it's really, um, it's really close to me and my eating style and what I really like to do every now and then. Um, so this will really take your eating up to the next level. So say for instance you went through 21 Day Fix and you don't have to be doing that program for this to work, but um, I am going to use the containers as uh, a measurement for how we're going to go about doing this, just so you know. If you have, just as a disclaimer, if you have Body Beast or if you have P90X or another program that does not use the container allocation, just let me know and we will uh, work a little bit more one-on-one -on, -one on how to modify that plan into this type of format. So um, the reason it's so close to me is because when I was hitting like a plateau uh, in my in my eating, like I was eating really great, I was following the the portions that I was supposed to be eating and I just wasn't really going anywhere. The scale wasn't moving or I wasn't seeing inches or anything like that, N not enough definition. I just kind of like, you know, stayed in the same spot and I wanted to keep going. So this is for people who really want to see a big result. And it's also for somebody who um, carbohydrates may not work really, really well with them um, all the time. So for instance, for me, I've definitely noticed that even if I just have the recommended amount of carbohydrates in my diet, I still kind of fitty ditty. It's 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 not it's not the best it could be. So I found this beautiful thing called carb cycling. It could be called a whole bunch of different types of things. Um, and what I'm actually going to be doing is using the countdown to competition from the 21 Day Fix Extreme. I actually did an actual carb cycling program by a different company, not Beachbody. Um, prior to 21 Day Fix Extreme coming out. 21 Day Fix Extreme came out and I saw uh, I saw what was inside and I was like, oh my gosh, this is carb cycling. This is so awesome. So I was really, really happy to see that Beachbody had taken on um, the method behind carb cycling because what pretty much what happens is that, okay, so carbs turn into glucose when they go inside of your body. Your body's preferred source of energy is glucose, but sometimes your body can just kind of get too much of it and everybody's different. I don't want to make any kind of like general or vague statements in this video, so just know that. Um, so what happens is if you deplete yourself of carbs for let's say two days or a day or whatever, and then the next day you go and you really, really increase your carbs and you have a lot of that glucose, there's a bunch of hormones that are involved. There's actually like six really, really key hormones that are involved with uh, your metabolism and like two or three of them get really, really spiked up from going from like no carbs for a good amount of time to having a big carb day. So, or like the other way around. It's just, you just fluctuate. You don't stay doing the same thing every single day. So let's talk about it from here. As long as you, now that you know, like the mindset of it and what it kind of is, uh, and leptin levels is the biggest one that we could talk about, the, the actual hormone, the actual chemical inside of your body that is going to help you with your metabolism when we talk about this. Uh, and gr grill, grillin, I might say it wrong. Anyway, okay, so pretty much what's going to happen is you are going to do... You are going to, I'll show you the calendar first. So just take a look at it. Don't, you can write stuff down if you want. So let's just take a look at it really quick. So it says, um, competition to countdown eating. And those are purple blocks. And then it says extreme eating plan in the teal color. So you'll see there's the um, countdown to competition for two days. And then the regular extreme eating meal plan. Um, so is this backwards for you guys? Yeah, I guess so. It's backwards for me too. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Maybe it's not. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So as you can see, you're going to have two days of this lower carb. So the countdown to competition are the lower carb days and their extreme eating plan is the regular eating plan. So if you're doing 21 day fix, this would be a regular allocation container. So now we're going to go over and move over and this is something that I've in, I've included. So you could take a look there and you know whatever bracket you're in. So what's going to happen is for two days you're going to eat the purple of your bracket and then after the second day for, on the third day you're going to have the teal number of your bracket. Is that correct? Yes. Because purple is the extreme, I mean, is the countdown competition. 
and the teal is the extreme eating. So two days purple, one day teal. And then after that, you do two days purple, one day teal. You do this for your entire 21 day of the program. So whether you're doing 21 day fix, 21 day fix extreme, um, you could even be doing max 30 and do this. This is really, really cool. I know that I've taught you guys that whatever program you're doing, your eating is very, very important. The cool thing about carb cycling is that, you know, you're not an extreme of anything. You're getting all different types of nutrition in. And this works really, really well for with programs that especially have any sort of weight in them. And that's including 21 Day Fix. You're holding a weight. You're using resistance besides just your body. So um, if you need those counts, just go and pause the video and take a look and write down your numbers. So while you do that, I just want to talk about something. Um, so as you can see, there are no fruits. So if you didn't know already, and you kind of should, um, but fruits are have glucose in them. Fruits have natural sugars in them. But they're still sugars and they're still carbs. That's what your body, how your body uses it. So there's no fruits on purple days. And um, once again, purple days are countdown to competition days or your carb depletion days. And you're also not going to have any blue containers or orange containers. So I really like this plan, honestly, because it simplifies my eating so much, so much. It is a little hard because uh, I'm kind of semi-vegetarian. There's certain proteins that I just won't eat. Um, so you'll notice that your greens maintain, your greens stay the same. You have no purples on, on your carb depletion days. You increase your reds. So your reds should be going up. You should have more protein in there. Your yellows decrease, but don't totally decrease because you still do need that complex carb uh, that one time in that day, or if you're higher up on the scale, maybe two or three, but it's in comparison to, uh, you know, five or four. <laughs> so that's really, really cool. Uh, your blues, you will not have any blues and you will not have any oranges, but you will still have your teaspoons and in some cases some of you will get extra teaspoons on that day so I really like it because it makes it really simple you're taking out three different colors of containers so and you're only having like for me it's only one serving of yellow so um this will totally revolutionize the way that your body re responds to your eating program and you'll really really like it now don't just stop the video and go do it. <laughs> so just as a little disclaimer as well, this isn't something that you want to continue for more than a month at a time. Your body does need a break from something like this. Um, you could technically go 60 days with something like this. Uh, this would be okay. But this is a seasonal type of eating. This is not a way of going about life and uh, eating this way. And in all honesty, the way that you eat should be changing every now and then as long as you want your body to continue to make progress in some sort of way. Your eating should always be, it should be ever changing. <laughs> so I know it's, it's kind of hard and it's kind of sucky to keep learning new things, um, but it's kind of awesome too because you can always just kind of go back and you can look back at doing like five or six different types of eating and you can look back and say, you know, which one worked best for my schedule and what I was doing? Which one um, did I get the best results with? Because unfortunately, honestly, everybody's body is just really different and responds to different types of food different ways. And the best, the only way to really find that out is either go get hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars worth of tests done or trial and error. All right. So I hope that you really like this video. I hope that um, you're really gung ho. Please let me know if you're doing this. I, I love, love, love. Um, to keep track of people's progressions and which one works better because honestly if I have a hundred people and 50 of them this is their favorite way of eating or 75 of them got the best results with this way of eating I kind of want to recommend people do this first so please let me know how it goes for you let me know that you're gonna do it and I'm really really excited for you um, I'm just gonna give this to you again just so you can look at that chart and then I'll be done with the video is it blurry? Is it clear enough? Okay. Seems like it's not focusing. Focus. 
All right, guys, I hope that's good enough. I hope you paused it. I hope you can see it. If not, just let me know and I'll we can find a picture of it. All right, guys, see you later.